Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, whatever side of the diaspora you're on, let me welcome you. Uh, and I hope I don't have to revisit this no more. But if I do, then I'm open to it. And for anybody that disagree with me, I will hope to hear your comments. I will hope you can leave your comments and we can have a conversation. You know, I get sick and tired of hearing a lot of y'all younger folks and a lot of y'all talking about um, how Farrakhan killed Malcolm. Okay. And he's responsible for Malcolm's death. Which is amazing to me considering... I look at all the young rappers, all the young men. See, because when brothers are in their 20s and, you know, usually in their teens and 20s, they got all this testosterone. And they do and say a lot of things that um, cause other people to be hurt. For instance, like F, what is his name? FD, FGB Duck. Okay. Or King Von. Or um, any of these other young men, what's the one that was in L.A. that some people ran up in his house and, and, and killed him? Um, young men at that age got a lot of testosterone. And they say and do a lot of things because of their pride and ego that they may mature down from when they get in their 40s and 50s. And so what I don't like is y'all take the comparison and y'all comparing Farrakhan as if he didn't come from hell like the rest of us. Like he fell from heaven somewhere. And he's any different than any one of y'all 22, 23, 24-year-olds, 25-year-olds that's running around here with all this testosterone, shooting up people, killing people. Look at the dude that got killed on the expressway. Boosie artist. Um, I don't understand how y'all can look at Farrakhan, call him a killer, yet still most of y'all that say that are engaging in the same testosterone-based behavior. Most of y'all in y'all 20s and 30s do a whole lot of reckless stuff that we hope to God that you grow through. Am I right? Come on, help me out now. Talk black to me. Uh, so when you go and judge people or accuse Farrakhan of killing Malcolm with not taking the whole thing in total context, and it wasn't that he physically did something. Yeah, his words. And he's given account for that. His words. Because words are also very powerful. And he admitted that maybe some of the words that he spoke in that environment helped create the demise of Brother Malcolm. Well, a lot of y'all is creating environments right now for somebody to get killed. Some of y'all are running around with gangs right now as young men, popping off other young men, in your ego-driven self. And you don't think that you got the same nature as, at, as or that Farrakhan had, had the same pretty much nature as any other young man in his 20s filled with testosterone and rage about something that they felt so personally closely connected to. So for y'all own sake, brothers, I want y'all to look at that real, real carefully. So when you start saying that stuff about Farrakhan and that he's guilty of murder and he's guilty of it, I want y'all to put it in context. Start First of all, start with how old he was. Okay? And then you can see all these young men around here getting shot. A lot of these young, and the young people that shoot them. You'll see a lot of it. You'll see the testosterone gone mad. Some people out here done caught multiple bodies. But y'all want to sit back and keep talking about Farrakhan 
about something that happened in 1965, 64, and the atmosphere and the environment that was created around the betrayal of uh, Elijah Muhammad from Brother Malcolm. And I want y'all to really think about that. And I had to make this uh, 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 video because I, I really get tired of hearing that. I really get tired of hearing that y'all talking to Farrakhan today as if he's this he was the twenty something year old man that 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 said those things about Farrakhan. Y'all need to think and then act accordingly. Stop being so reactive and try being a little proactive, okay? All right, I want to hear your comment because I know a lot of y'all going to disagree with me, but make it plain, as they say. I'll see you in the next video.